After a little bit of a heated uh, discussion between Mord and Steiner, uh, Steiner will find out that the cargo ship is already docked at Dally, and uh, he'll run off to the village. Thanks to Steiner rushing over to the cargo ship in such a, a frenzied panic, uh, the farm workers haven't ha or didn't have the chance to load the barrel that had uh, Zidane, Vivian, and Dagger onto the cargo ship yet. Uh, and although Steiner kind of ruined the easiest way of getting to where they needed to go, uh, the party does regroup and decides that you know maybe the cargo ship is still the best option, and there might be another way to uh, to take it. Uh, but before they can figure out anything uh, concrete as to what they're going to do, uh, the next boss shows up. Although the time to discuss uh, such matters is long gone, uh, all you need to know is that this is Black Waltz number two. He's su far superior to uh, Black Waltz number one, and he is taking the princess back with him, whether or not the party agrees with it. is going to be primarily focusing his attacks on the men in the party. That would be, of course, Zidane, Steiner, and Vivi. Uh, so this gives Dagger ample amounts of opportunity to heal the party if needed. Uh, you want to start off by having Zidane steal the leather plate and a steepled hat from Black Walls number 2. Meanwhile, each round uh, you want Steiner to manually attack, and Vivi can just be there to either focus or use some kind of item if necessary, because you don't want to attack Black Waltz number 2 with a magical spell. Uh, doing so will cause him to counter with a, a similar spell on the men of the party, and it could be quite hurtful and you don't need unnecessary damage uh, in this fight. 
Uh, after you've managed to steal the leather plate and steepled hat, which it, it's great importance if you use the bandit ability, kind of makes uh, stealing the items a little bit easier. Uh, all you gotta do to bring Black Boss number two uh, down to his defeat is to attack with uh, Zidane and Stein. Even though your party knows that his next move should be uh, boarding the cargo ship and finding a way to get to Lindblum, uh, it's it's probably best to rest at the inn overnight to kind of you know come to grips with all the ordeals that you've had to face uh, since you've come to this seemingly peaceful village uh, just just today. Uh, so be sure to head back to the inn and uh, rest overnight. 